Tell you what, this feels a lot like the Braves Phillies series the last two years. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dives with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight I'm going to talk about today's NLDS Game 3 as you had the New York Mets beating the Philadelphia Phillies 7-2 and are now one win away from closing this series out. Um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you want to be a channel donor, my cash app information down in the description box. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, that information down in the description box. Um, my co-host of Sports Talk Radio Show every Sunday, that information is down in the description box. Um, if you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe and man, hit the bell notification and everybody hit the like button and share with your folks. Tell you what, man, um, I'm looking at the Phillies and I'm saying to myself, boy, y'all see how we feel as Braves fans, man. When you dominate 162, vape for a 162 game season, clinch the division early, soak your feet up, relax yourself. You know, wait for your opponent to play, and then you get a division opponent, and then they smack you right in the face, and it's a short, such a short series, you ain't even got time to reflect on what's going on. Now the Phillies see how the Braves felt, man. You know, now the Phillies look like the Braves and the and the Mets look like the Phillies the last couple of years. Um, Sean Manaya was outstanding in this game, yo. Um, the starting pitcher for the Mets. And then, of course, Alonzo, who got the best of Aaron Nola again, gets everything started with a solo homer. Then Winker later on gets him another solo homer. Then Marte busts it open, yo, with a, with a um, you know, driving into. And then um, Iglesias drives into. And then Lador, of course, gets the late one. Uh, after the Phillies tried to make somewhat of a valid comeback, cutting it to six to two, and the Mets win it seven to two. Um, Aaron Nola was actually good for the Phillies. He just gave up two homers and left a couple of people on base before he left, and you know uh, he got the bases loaded, and that was pretty much it. You know, um, but for the Phillies, man, the bats it's the bats. The bats are shrinking. You know, it was one inning they had a run on first and second with nobody out. They end up getting nothing out of that. You know, um, and meanwhile, the Mets, they coming up with the clutch hits. And like I said, man, it's, it's you know, it's no excuses. But, you know, it's kind of tough when you play a 162-game season and then you, you get a week off and you play a best of five. <laughs> like, these playoff atmospheres are nothing compared to regular season atmosphere. And if you lose one at home and you got to go on the road and play two, that's tough. You know, last I checked, the Padres was beating on the Dodgers as well. And for the Phillies, we're going to see. Um, I thought maybe they would go with Wheeler on short, on short rest, but they're going with Ranger Suarez um, with this season on the line. So we're going to see what happened, man. Um, you know, City Field gonna be rocking, and uh, the Mets gonna try to do to the Phillies what they did to the Braves the last two years, y'all. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm gonna have Atlanta Braves, MLB, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Braves.